In this tutorial, we will learn everything about meta tags in HTML. The first question we will answer is what are meta tags? The short answer is meta tags are metadata which describe your web pages. Have a look at this search result page from Google. Meta tags are used to define the different parts of a search result, like the title for example, in this case it's Wikipedia, or the description which is also defined by a meta tag. Without any more talking, let's jump into the code and learn how to use meta tags in HTML. We already learned about the title tag in a previous tutorial of this course. Actually, it's not a real meta tag, but the title tag influences the search results. So I included it into this tutorial as well. Okay, after adding the title tag, we will add our first real meta tag for the description of the page. So we write meta and set the name attribute to description. The name attribute of meta tags defines the type of the meta tag. In this case, we want to set the description. So we set the attribute to description. The content attribute defines the actual value of the meta tag. So here we write the description, which should appear in the search results. Okay, so now we have added title and description. And this is how it will appear in the search results of Google. Next, we're going to have a look at some other meta tags. Let's start with the keyword meta tag. This one is used to describe the keywords or topics of your web page. A long time ago, search engines used this meta tag to determine the topics of your web page. But this isn't the case anymore today. Another meta tag is the author meta tag. Search engines use the author meta tag sometimes to display information about the author of a web page, for example, in news articles. To create an author meta tag, we set the name attribute to author and the content attribute to John Doe, for example. Next, we're going to have a look at another interesting thing we can achieve by using meta tags. We will learn how to refresh the page in a specific interval. To achieve that, we create a meta tag and set the HTTP equiv attribute to refresh. And next we set the content attribute to the amount of seconds, which will trigger the interval. So let's set it to five because we want the page to refresh every five seconds. The viewport meta tag is another important meta tag. It gives the browser information about the area where the content is rendered. The viewport meta tag is important so your web pages look good on every device, even on small smartphone screens. We will have a closer look at the viewport meta tag in a future tutorial about responsive design on this channel. A good default viewport meta tag is setting the width to the width of the device and the initial scale to 1.0. The char set meta tag is used to define the character set used for displaying text on your website. UTF-8 is a good default char set to use, so we are going to use that one. The robots meta tag can be used to tell search engines and other robots how to handle the web page. For example, if you don't want your web page is listed in the search results of a search engine, you would have to set the no index property of the robots meta tag. And if we don't want that search engines follow the links on our websites, we have to set the no follow property of the robots tag. The last tag we are going to have a look at is not a real meta tag as well. But I think it's important to mention it now. We can use the link tag to define a so-called canonical URL. If you have duplicate pages, the canonical URL points to the original page. Imagine you host the same website one time with www and one time without www. To avoid search engines indexing both of those versions, we set the canonical URL to the www version so search engines only index the page once. Okay, we have reached the end of this video. I hope you liked it and learned a lot. To support my work, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel to not miss any content about learning to code. Have a great day and see you next time.